Hello Paper Florist. So you're halfway done with your morning glory. Stephen did some beautiful, beautiful blooms, don't you think? So I'm going to follow up today with some buds and some leaves and then how to put the entire vine together. So let's get started. We can't wait to see yours. Thanks so much for joining us on the Paper Florists. Hello, Paper Florists. Thanks so much for joining me today. So we are going to make the buds for our morning glories. And um, I'm sure you've already done your, your um, blossoms already. So we're going to add on the blossoms um, and the leaves and the little tendrils. So we're going to start with these little buds. So I'll set that aside. And oh, I also have some, um, this is probably 22 gauge, 22, 24 is fine. You could even do 26 if you like. Got a little couple pieces of wire here. I have some um, Kleenex, wire snips, scissors, and some paper. The paper that I'm using is the, uh, I don't know the color number, unfortunately, off the top of my head. This is from Cartifini. This is that periwinkle orange, or I'm sorry, periwinkle purple kind of color that they have. We also need a little bit of color smart, well, any kind of acrylic paint. And this is a metallic purple just because I, I that's the way I roll. I like metallic everything. So I've got a little paintbrush, I've got my scissors, and I have put a drop of my paint into my palette already. And that little drop of paint is probably enough to do 20 petals. So, so the first thing we're gonna do is we'll set all this to part, this, actually, let's cut these first, and then that'll give them time to dry. And they should be probably about two inches long. So I'm cutting, just cutting a couple strips. All these strips, I'll just cut them in two inches. And they don't have to be exactly two inches either. So whatever works for you. And this paper, this 90 gram is what I'm using. And it has so much stretch to it. So we're gonna give it a little, a good stretch. Okay, then we're gonna cut that piece. And this is just a piece two inches tall and, um, uh, let's see how wide it is, tall, tall, tall. It's it's square, pretty much, it's two by two. Then I gave it a pretty good stretch. Let's see if I can open that back up. And I stretched it out to three, a good three inches. Maybe a little more than that. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half because this paper has so much stretch, stretch in it. So I'm gonna fold it in half two times, and then I'm gonna cut our normal um, a modified teardrop petal. Let's see if I got all that. Like so, so we'll just bring this down, there we go. And I'm probably gonna need four or five petals per blossom. Do the same here. You can add as many, oops, I did it wrong. You can add as many um, buds to your vine as you like. The world is your oyster. It's your chance to play Mother Nature. And um, you can add however many um, petals that you want to add to your Blossom is also up to you. Okay, so we're gonna, maybe we'll do, let me see how many I got here. Yeah, let's do one more. First thing I'm gonna do is cut it in half. This is now one by two-ish, a little longer than that, because we stretched it probably one and a half. And we're gonna cut this as well. needs to be stretched just a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Set this aside. Set this set all that aside. Now we are going to paint our petals. And I'm going to just grab a, a piece of printer paper. This is kind of what I like to use as my, there's actually more than one here. And this is what I like to use because I can just throw it away when I'm done. 
So I'm going to take these petals. I'm going to give them a little bit of a stretch, not much, because we just all we want to do here is just really get them flat so we can paint them. So here's my palette, and here's my petals, and this is going to be so easy. So I'm going to take just a little bit of paint, and I'm going to paint the edge of this petal. This is going to be the inside of the petal, so you don't have to be perfect with it. I'm just going to paint like around the edges primarily. And a little bit of this right out of the tube. Don't mix any water with it. I have found when I'm using, it depends on the crepe paper you're using, but I found that when I use this 90 gram, it does not like getting wet really very much. It's really hard to do. It can be done, but it's not easy. Set that aside and just keep at it until we're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, you paint yours, and when we're both done, um, we'll come back and we'll finish up making these blooms. Okay, so welcome back. We are going to make the form that goes under these petals. So I'm just gonna take, this is just one, a Kleenex, and I'm just gonna cut it maybe in half this way. Let's open it up, it's gonna be easier. and then cut those pieces in half, make squares. Okay, so then we're gonna take just one of these pieces and we're going to fold it in half a couple of times until it gets down pretty tight. That should probably be okay. Maybe do one more. Uh, no, let's keep it there. And um, then I've got these um, fine gauge wires. These I believe are maybe 24, 22, 24. And we're gonna create a shepherd's hook on this. So we're just gonna take about half an inch and turn it under like that. Okay. Then we've got to make sure we have our trusty glue handy. And let's see, am I gonna, let's do this one more time. I think this will work better. So we'll take this Kleenex tissue. I know Kleenex is, in, is a brand name, but it's like we call Coke Coke, right? Um, okay, so I've just kind of got it in there and I've kind of squeezed it down and I'm gonna wrap this around a couple times. Okay, and I'm gonna come down a little bit. To, so it's probably about a, inch, inch and a quarter. Whatever size you want is fine. And then I'm gonna get my glue. Hot glue would probably be best for this, but I didn't turn my hot glue gun on. Oop, dropped it. Okay, pull it tightly. There we go. Wrap it pretty tight. And we're gonna create kind of a cone shape here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take it in my hands and like manhandle it a little bit, kind of spindle it, and then I have the shape I want. So add a little more glue in there just to make it nice and neat. Okay, then just take this and twist it. So there you have it. So that's one. Get my glue, and we're gonna do three. So do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna take my wire, bend it down. And um, I'm gonna say this again at the risk of being redundant. If you like the tutorials that we give you every month, please like and subscribe to our channels. We would so appreciate that. Okay, so let's squish that on there a little bit. 
there. Gives it a little tighter seal. And then I'm just gonna wrap. It's kind of bulky and cumbersome, but it works. And it's okay that that wire sticks out at the top. Perfectly okay. Because these petals are going to go higher than that. So there we go. There's another one. And, and this isn't rocket science. They don't have to be the same. Doing it your way. That's what makes it art, right? That's what I always say. Okay, so do the same thing with this. So we'll have all three. Move my tools out of the way one more time. Wrap it under there. Let's pinch that a little and just start wrapping. There we go. And this is coming unraveled, but that's okay. Just keep going. I know this is messy looking, but you're not going to see any of this. This is just the mechanics of making this the way we want it to be. Just kind of gives us a form. And I know this rubbing in my hand seems kind of weird, but it does just kind of evens everything out a little bit. So we've got all those done. And we have our petals, which should be dry about now. And we're going to just spindle these, twist them, and twist them like that. Do the same thing with all of them. Kind of, kind of manhandle this. And you want the paint that you side, the side that you painted, on the inside. And I have more petals here than I need. But I always do that. I like to cut more than I need. There we go. You can do them two at a time as well. I don't think that one's quite dry. So I did ask you last month, and I didn't have anybody comment on it. Um, wanted to ask if you think I talk too much during my videos. I kind of like to work like you're sitting here with me. That that's that's where my head is, and that we're doing this together. So I don't know if I'm too yappy. I'd love to know. So we all strive to be better every day. Sorry for the noise in the background. It's my clock. It plays a tune every hour. Only during the daytime. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, so now we're gonna unravel these. And as we do, unravel each one. We're just gonna kind of give them a little stretch there, a little cupping. Sometimes they're really tight and give it just a little cupping. So go ahead and do that with all of your petals and we'll come back and I'll show you what to do with them next and we'll attach them to the wire. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. I did pull out a tool here. This is actually it's a quilling tool, but um, Wendy Matta calls these um, the golden tools. So, and you could also use this like an eight gauge wire, big heavy wire, or a, a skewer even would work really well. So I've got them all untangled here. Let me figure out what's the bottom, what's the top. And I've just, I'm, I just stretched them just a little bit. Okay. 
And then what we're going to do is I'm just gonna take one of these little petals, lightly cupped, and I'm gonna put a layer of glue down the middle ish. And I'm gonna attach this one. You're gonna overlap them about 50%. Then we're gonna do another one. And just make sure they're even across the top. That's really all that matters. I know this looks kind of wonky and weird now, but it'll come together, I hope. I may actually have messed up on the paint. And I may have to do it again, but we'll see. So I've got four on there. And I think mine could have used a little more. That's not where I want the glue. Um, I used four on the ones that made before, and I think it'll actually work better with five. So I'm add another one here. Let's give it a little bit of a stretch. So you can see each one of them overlaps the other by about 50%. Okay. So, yeah, see, I'm worried about this paint having done what it does. We're going to actually come in and we're going to take these and we're going to roll them back. But we'll do that after we get it on the bloom, on the form. So I'm just going to put some glue here at the bottom. I'm going to grab one of our forms. And see, this is why it doesn't matter so much of this shape. And I'm just going to wrap these around just at the bottom here. Wrap them around there. We're going to give that a little curl. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue in the inside here. We're just going to bring it together and curl it. Actually, this modeling on it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna take our tool and we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna roll the each one of these back. Oops, not all the way, not, the, not as far as I did, actually. I think I did more than one. Let's get this closed. Yeah, I did. Let's get some glue right there. And we'll get that in there, there we go. want this to come a little further over. There we go. Okay, so we're going to roll that one back. See, this is where that paint on the other side comes in. We're just going to go in. It's really hard to see. I know, I know it probably doesn't show on camera. Just give these a little curl. There's one. They're kind of hard to find. There's one. And we're just going to turn it back. Okay, there's another one. We're gonna come in and, and fix this, but this is all we wanna do right now is just give this a little curl. Find them all. It's not always easy to see. There's one. So just take your finger and wrap it like that, and that'll give you that swirl. I know it looks kind of wonky now, but be patient. Take it. You might want to go around once or twice. That's okay, because we're going to pull that back together. I just wanted to get them on the form to start. Okay. Now is where we're gonna kind of bring it together at the top. So I'm gonna put a little, a couple drops of glue in here. Bring that back around and just bring them in up here. Close them up. There, meet the other type. So we're gonna set this aside. We are gonna come back in and do this a little more. 
but I've got the first part of it started. That's probably the hardest part of making the bloom. I want to thank my friend Marinetta. Her IG is Find Art Blooms, I believe. She um, had some morning glories in her backyard, and she was kind enough to take one part, dissect it for me. So this is just a start. We're just going to let the, the glue dry a little, and then we'll come in and, and do that. So I'm going to take five more. I did, did do, I don't know if I did four or five. I think I did four. No, I think I did five. Doesn't matter. Whatever makes you happy is what you're going to use. So just going to take this. We're going to just make sure they oops, are overlapping and it, keep the height up here. So you want to have that glue on the right, I'm sorry, on the left side of your bloom. It's going to depend. Everybody's different. I'm a lefty. I do most things with my right hand. I do maybe have a tendency to curl these things backwards to a lot of people. So I've got four in there. I'm going to add one more simply because it could go around a little bit. And I did it again. I don't want glue there. Okay. And we'll glue over on the more to the left. There's one. Let's grab that one. There we go. So we've got all of them together. And I got glue on my hands. So let me clean my hands off real quick. Okay. So we're gonna put some glue along just along the bottoms here. We're gonna take a little up in the middle here. There we go. Take our bloom and lay it on there. I'm gonna put a little glue on this edge. Here, there we go. And then I'm just gonna pull this around. There we go. And secure it. We're going to come in with our golden tool, our quilling tool, and we're just going to start rolling these. And the tool will help you differentiate where the end of each petal is. These would probably be done with, with no color on them at all. They'd be really pretty. I might have gone overboard on the color. But who knows? Okay, so that's where our ending seam is. And we're going to bring that around there. Okay, so now we're going to put... Actually, I think I'm going to leave this one this way. And I'm going to take my tool. And like this one's just opening up. like that. Can you get my finger in there? There we go. Come on. There we go. And I think there's another one. Yep. Another one there. Here. <laughs> Having a hard time with that. There we go. Okay. 
Let's just come back around one more time. There we go. So there we go. And we're going to leave that one to act like it's opening up on its own. But one other thing I might do is take these and curl these just a little. Let's see? Back there. You can get that in there. I'm going to try it this way. Yeah, there we go. There, so it's just starting to furl. There we go, so there's one. And we'll go ahead and do another one. Why not, right? We've got the paper here. So I'm going to grab my blue. I'm going to give this one a little bit better stretch here. And glue, put some glue about halfway down. Like I said, the thing you want to be cognizant of is just keeping it even on the top. Bottom doesn't matter so much. Hope you can see this. We'll do one more since we have one petal left. We'll do that one too. Let's open it up a little more. There we go. There we go. So we got them all there. Put some glue along the bottom of them to hold it down. Place it around your Okay, so we want a little glue here on this leading edge. And we'll pull that. So just kind of pulling it as I go to get it wrapped around there. There we go. And you know what? The only thing I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to take these and curl these back a little bit. I don't want I don't want to see that white so I'm gonna put a little glue in there just to get it covered up there we go there so let's kind of just curl them back on the top I don't think I can get my finger in there. There we go. So we got, so we've, now we've got three of them. Now we're just going to finish these off. I've got a little bit of um, a piece of green. The green, green fern and moss, whatever it's called, um, doublet, and that's what I'm going to use to wrap these. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to grab some of this 90 gram. I think I have a bigger piece. So I'm just going to cut a piece out of here. This stuff stretches like you wouldn't believe. So just even to do your strips a couple of inches is probably going to do you. So here we go. So I'm just going to cut like a couple of half inch strips. And I will use them for the rest of the project. So you don't have to worry about cutting too much. Don't need these. Done with those. So we're just gonna take a piece of this, and we only need like that much. Because look how this stretches. It's got a 500% stretch. Okay. I'm gonna use a smaller glue pen. 
clogging these boys up. So I'm going to put a few here where it's going to wrap around. You can use floral tape for this too. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with floral tape. There are times when it's a really, it's a must. And there are times when I abhor it. So, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to start wrapping this. I'm going to come up a little bit on there. Oh, I don't have a good grip. I'm going to wrap this one again. Yeah, let's do another layer on there. I just don't like the way that sits. It doesn't look as smooth as I would like it to. There, and I'd wrap, like to wrap it right there. There we go. That's better. Some more glue on there. Let's do this one. And the last one. My hands are sticky. I'm gonna give that a nice whole bead of glue there rather than just little dots. This paper doesn't really like all that glue. It gets kind of wet, but there we go. So we've got our blooms done, clean my hands, and uh, we'll come back and we'll start working on the leaves. Okay, so we're back. Um, we are gonna now um, do the leaves, and I just wanna show you something about these leaves. They are a three points leaves and what I do is I'm going to show you how I do it but I actually cut and, and laminated it together to give me that three um three leaf prong there so to speak so I grabbed a little bit of light gauge wire this is I believe 26 gauge and I the, the white is all I have handy so um that's what I use so we just want to cut a few pieces of this in probably four or five inches long. Cut this into threes is how it works for me. And we're gonna grab some doublet. And this is um, the green and moss. And we're going to make some leaves with it. So we're going to take um, a piece, though this is a, this 10 inches this way. So I'm gonna fold it over. I'd like fairly large leaves. So let's see how big that is. Um, I'm going to fold it over about three inches. That's two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right along this fold line here. Just to give us a, a piece to work with. If I could do that, make it easy. It's not that hard. But I'm making it really hard. There we go. Okay. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. So we're gonna cut this, and I'm gonna show you a little trick to this in a second, but we're gonna cut this at, um, so we have like squares. So it's gonna be about three inches, I guess. That, yeah, three inches is fine. And then here's another one, I cut this one down here. So this is how I do multiple leaves at a time, is I take my paper and I will fold it once on itself and fold it again on itself. And I have about a three by three inch square here. So I'm gonna cut my folded parts, seams. Then we're gonna cut this along the diagonal from corner to corner, okay? So I'm going to take this and I want the green side. So I'm going to take these two, put them so that the green goes up. You know this drill pretty well, I'm sure by now. So I've got two more. And I got 
two here and two here. So I've got these. And we'll do another one. And by folding it on itself, like this twice, it um, comes out so that the colors are on the right sides. Okay, now we're gonna cut this one from corner to corner. Okay. I missed a corner. I missed a, a seam here. I know I'm shaking a little bit. Um, I apologize for that. I've got allergies so bad. And um, so I'm on some medication that really makes me shaky. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to use my glue pen for this. And we're just going to do a couple of these at a time. So I'm just going to take and put a little tiny bead of glue along the bottom of this. Okay. And that's where this glue pen is just really cool. There's one. Now I work pretty quickly. Um, you can do this at your own speed. You may or may, you may work faster, you may work slower and that's okay. There's a little so I've got these little wires here that we cut earlier and I'm just going to take one and I'm going to lay it on that glue line and I'm going to, it's going to be about an inch from the, from the end there. Just going to lay that down. If you have a brayer, which I do, but not handy, this would be a good time to get your brayer out. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Go to the next one. This one, this wire is not very straight. Yeah, that wire's all bent. There we go. There we go. And just lay it down. Now, that if I were a little less confident, I would probably put some glue on my wire itself. So you may want to consider that. Just lay your your wire right into the glue. Okay, now we'll do a couple more. I'm gonna cut some fresh wire because some of those wires are just a little too wonky for me. This one is really yeah. <sighs> Got some fresh. Um, you know, that, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine is that I hate wires that aren't straight. Um, I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Side. Okay, now we'll keep going. I apologize if my hair's in the way. You need three of these on each leaf. Oops, I want that one more in. There we go. Do those. Do my wire. So this, once you start doing this, it grow, goes pretty quickly. Um, and I, you can you can use the uh, different technique, any any technique you want to use on this. I know we all have our favorites. For me, this is kind of my favorite. I think it's less bulky this way. You could do it where you put the you fold the two pieces together, glue them, and then hold them open, and you put the wire behind the leaf, behind the seam. I just find that's a little bulky. I do. I use it all the time. I definitely do that for rose petals, or uh, leaves for roses. Don't know why. We all have our thing, right? Wire, oops, half. Yeah. 
since we only have two more here, we're gonna go ahead and do this one too. And then we'll have enough to do another one. And you can add as many or as few leaves as you want to yours. I think I put four in mine. I'm gonna look. Let's cut this. Goes here. This one goes here. There we go. We are cooking with gas, and it looks like I missed a seam again. I don't know how I do that. There. I thought that was two. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three for one, and one, two, three for another. So, grab our glue, do the same thing we did before. Easy. I'm just not doing a very good job at that. Oh, it's very long. Okay, put it right in the glue. Hold on one camera here. And these don't line up all that well, but we're gonna trim them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just make sure you get the glue in there. this up. Prove these little kites. Okay, I need one more of these. start putting this together and um, I'm going to show you I'm going to mod podge mine but I do that after they're all laminated together use a green marker to cover that up. Remember, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. And, um, you know, we this is handmade. This isn't made in China by a machine. Or any other country by machine. So you're about to, bound to have little things like I said, we'll just cover that up with a little marker. Okay. Okay, so the one thing to know about these leaves is they are basically three pieces. So there's one that comes up the center, one that comes this way, and one that comes this way. Okay, so we're gonna cut the center first, and it's just basically our normal leaf shape, elongated leaf shape. Okay. 
Okay, so there's our center. I'm not happy with that. There. There's the first part, and it's <laughs> not the same. Probably should have left it alone. But this is going to be on the top. Okay, so there's our first one. So this next one, we're going to want to cut it just like that so that it fits together on, on the bottom, on the top, so that it comes out from here. Okay? Then this other one's going to come down further. So we're going to take this one. Before I forget, we're going to make this one. We're going to make this side of the leaf bigger. And this side of the leaf normal. I know this sounds wonky, but believe me, it'll work. It'll work really well. So let's see, they'll be like that. So this one is our next one. Let's take this one. So our next one. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to cut the, the downside largest. So we're just going to make this one big. And this one we're just going to cut like normal. Okay. So I take this one and I bring this one here like that. And I'm going to bend this down, the wire down, so that it sits like this. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little bit of my tape here and hold those all together. Don't need much. You could use floral tape for this. If I had floral tape handy, I probably would. Just, just attack. You're so when you understand the concept, we're just going to tack it down. We're going to add more tape to it later, but it's just to get it started. Help us glue this all together. Okay. And I noticed when I was twirling that, that there's an extra piece of paper there. There. Okay. So we're gonna take, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna some glue, put some glue along the bottom on this side like this. And I guess. Okay, we'll turn it back over and line it up just like we like it. And it's okay. That just some glue back there. So there you have. These are kind of big, but so let's do one more. So we're gonna this one's gonna be the center one. Some of these are bigger than others. Let's take the small ones here. There we go. This one is, is going to go on that side, so we cut this side big. And this side just regular. It's just this, this side is basically to hold it all together. There were the scraps. And then so we've got this one and this one. this way. We'll do this one. I don't think that's going to work. This one would be better. Okay, so I know this is kind of, you have to really think about what you're doing here. and Because I like to cut my petals just one-sidedly. Kind of that's an issue. Okay, so take this one, put it here. And we take this one, and we're going to cover up that wire. So that's going to show. There we go. There. 
So I'm going to take them, put them together. This probably works easier just to do it this way and pull them apart. You get a piece of crepe. And one of the reasons I like this 90 gram is because it goes on so smoothly. Okay, so here's our, our top piece, and then here's each of the bottom pieces. Okay, and we're going to put do the same thing we did before, pull them out or lift it up, put some glue down here, put some glue down here, and then put those together. Okay, so go ahead and finish yours. I have enough here for two more petals. So I will go ahead and do that. And you do yours and we will come back. Okay, so welcome back. So I have my Mod Podge here. This one is the gloss. You can use the matte. It's entirely up to you. And I buy it in this big bucket because it's most economical for me. And you're just going to put a light coat of Mod Podge on all of these leaves. There we go. And you don't need to worry about it if it curls up while you're doing this or, you know, it doesn't look that good. It's fine. It's, when it dries, it's going to be gorgeous. Amazing how this stuff works. It's magic stuff. So there's one. And I'm just going to set those on the table behind me. You could do both sides of this if you want. Um, it's up to you. If you do that, I would suggest you let it dry in between. Otherwise, it the glue will start, because that Mod Podge is technically a glue, um, it'll start to un unlaminate the laminate that was put in there by the factory. You just want to put a thin coat on there. I'm probably a little he heavy handed, but that's okay. And I have the silicone mat here that I do this on. Okay, where's the next one? Last one. Sorry. Oh, and I'm going to cover that up too. I'm going to use a marker to do that. I can wait till we're all done. Because after this is dry, we're actually going to just hit it lightly with a little bit of pan pastel. Because if I put it on now, it probably would kind of come apart, run a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna go wash my brush and let these dry. And when I come back, we're gonna put our vine together. So thanks so much for joining me. I will see you soon. Okay, so we're back. And I have um, a confession. I actually filmed a video putting all of this together and I realized I'd forgotten the tendrils. So I took it all apart. So some of these wires aren't neat the way they were, but we're gonna come in and start over. So we need to do some tendrils. So we're gonna grab some really fine, this is probably a, mm, this might even be too fine. Um, no, maybe it'll work. Um, a really fine gauge um, wire. I think that might even be 32 gauge. And I don't think I'm going to do more than, well, yeah, I'll cut this down. And so we're going to make the tendrils. 
because most vining plants need something that makes them a vine and they have something to hold on to. So we're just gonna cover these this with wire. Sometimes I get ahead of myself here. Like I am now. There we go. Guess it was a good idea to keep it long like that. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. Put some glue on here. And you know, less is more when it comes to this glue because or this paper, because this paper will fall apart. There you go. And I apologize, my hands are very purple on them because I took these apart and I got some of that um I had the mod pot, uh, the pen pastel that I used to color my morning glories. And um, I really like the way that Stephen did it. It was pretty simple. Mine, I actually put paper in there um, to do it, and I and I covered colored them with um, a darker color paper. So we need a couple more of these because we're going to put this whole vine together. Let's take another one. We'll probably want four or five of these. So there's another one. Oops, gotta put some glue on here first. Helps if your hands are not super dry, but they have a little moisture on them. It just helps to grip the paper a little bit. I don't like the way that went down, so I'm just going to come in and there we go. Smooth it out a little. Couple more. Here we go. Oops. I have glue on my hands, and that's proving to be problematic. There we go. And just keep going all the way down. Okay, we'll do one more. And then I'm gonna show you real quick what I did to color, add some dimension to the leaves. There I go. There we go. So we're gonna grab a tool. I'm gonna use, I have a fat um, chopstick here that I got from my friend Wendy Anderson um, in New Zealand. So I'm gonna use this to 
to um, make my tendrils. You can use anything you want. You can use a pencil, um, a smaller skewer, whatever makes you happy. And I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do it pretty tight on the end here. I actually went out and looked at some of my, um, I have some um, cucumbers outside and I was looking to see how they the, how they went. Sometimes they were really curly here. Sometimes they were really curly on the bottom. So we're just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to grab another one and we'll do this one differently. And that's kind of the fun part, right? Is I'm going to make the whole thing tight. So that's what these vines like to do. These are probably eight inch pieces of um, wire. And then I just need to leave the bottom so that I have something to connect, um, a way to hold it on the vine. And so just go haphazard so they're all a little different. That's really what you're looking for. There's no right or wrong, again, whatever makes you happy. doing here <laughs> getting all mis discombobulated here there we go and last one So now we're going to cut some more strips. Like I said, you can feel free to use floral tape here. I can clean off my space and put my glue away. So, okay, we're going to cut a few more strips of this. Almost got my finger in there. Okay, that should be far enough. Okay, so I went ahead and connected each of these um, bloom, the buds together. And I'm gonna add in this tendril. So let's get our glue. And we're gonna put this vine together. And we've talked about vining before when we made our um, clematis. We did some vines there. And I'm just gonna take it and and I also want to add a leaf in here. Let's take this up here a little bit. There we go. That's because my won't find good. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I'm talking to myself, we're going to start adding in our blossoms. I'm going to add one. Let's do it this way. And when I um, made these blooms, I used way too heavy wire. I should have used a lighter wire. So we'll grab. Oh, so I wanted to tell you what I did with my um, leaves. I just took a little bit of a lighter yellow and just dabbed it on, brushed it on. You might be able to see it easier on this one. And it created some dimension to um, these. And see how cool they are once they're all glued together and they're dry? They look pretty much like they were just one piece. So that's kind of cool. And we're just going to keep adding in here. And as we do, we are going to... Um, be adding more wires in here. So you don't need to have like a wire to put it on because it'll do it all on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off here. I 
helps to kind of thicken up our stem. Put some glue on here. Um, I don't normally use this um, lighter weight crepe to wrap, but I just really like it. And I like to do that sometimes, so that's what makes it different, right? So we're just getting it started on here, and we want to add another leaf in down here. I'll just start putting that puppy on there, and then we'll adjust it as we go. And we're going to add in another tendril. in here like that so I'm gonna go back up here a little bit there we go I'll add another okay another flower here and we're gonna add another tendril here Again, we're going to just wrap this off. I'm going to cut this, I think. I'm going to cut this right here. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Okay, so we have two flowers left, two tendrils, and some more leaves. So I'm going to take one of these and bring it in here so it just sits up, sits up like this. Okay, so it's going to strip and put some glue on it. Just like that, and we can adjust it afterwards. We want to add a tendril in here. And I'm going to cut this off too. And put the last leaf here. And the last flower here. Okay, let's flip this over. Make sure we're getting it exactly like we like it to be. Okay, we want it right like that. So we're just gonna kind of start wrapping that. Get it where we want. Like I said, the wires that I used when I put these together was the wrong wire. It's making it really hard to work with. I should have used a 20 gauge probably, and I think I used an 18. Okay, so let's try this again. We wanna get this on here like this. So we're gonna take our paper and wrap it maybe there we go wrap it wrap it really well take this last tendril and then we're gonna wrap it up here and we're gonna just put a couple more wraps on here to kind of thicken up this stem
And then when I get to the end here, what I'll do is, oh, it's getting bulky, is I'll bring it up and I will turn around and wrap it back down the other way. Just to kind of cover up that raw piece of wire there. There. Okay, now let's make it look pretty, shall we? Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know quite where I want that to sit. No, it looks naked that way. There, that's fine. And bring it in and then bring our and I'm going to go ahead and wrap the stem a couple of times but I can do that later but I wanted you to see our finished piece I want to bring this around and bring it up here here we go and I got a little Oh, that's the wire. Okay, that's the tender. Okay, so there you have it. I'll come back and do a wrap up. And um, once again, if you enjoy our tutorials, don't forget to like and subscribe to our tutorials and hit that little bell so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a video. So thanks so much for joining me. And don't thanks again for joining the Paper Florists on Facebook. Hi, so I just wanted to jump back in because I forgot to tell you an important detail on your leaves. After you glue them all together in the three parts, then I came in with a pair of scissors and I just smoothed that out a little bit. So I think that makes for prettier leaves. So I would suggest that you do that too. So thanks so much for joining me again. Hello, Paper Florist. Thanks so much for joining us. That's a wrap. So we made a beautiful vine of morning glories this month, and we can't wait to see yours. Don't forget to use the hashtag paper flower challenge and tag the paper florists as well. So don't forget to share them. We'd love to see them and wait till you see what we have coming for you next month on the paper florists.